Hello, YouTube modeling community. That's right, it's the fat man from Alabama coming to you from Don's Garage. Well, here's a little bench update, I guess you could call it. This is one of two of my current projects. This is the AMT 63 Chevy 2 Nova Station Wagon curbside kit. You know, the one that builds just straight up bone stock. Well, I'm not into stock vehicles. I mean, I drive a stock one, and my model cars is my fantasy land. I get to build whatever I want, how I want. This is, uh, again, like I said, it's a curbside model, no chassis detail. I've done a few little modifications in the interior, cut the floor out, and put a 66 Nova floor pan in the front section so I can put my choice of seats in it. Other than that, well, and I got rid of the spare tire well, uh, but other than that, and the cow hood, other than that, no real modifications. Um, we've got the paint work done, the foil work done, and so on and so forth. The chassis is pretty much done. I got a couple of small details I'm gonna do underneath that you can see from the side profile when the car is finished. But this is supposed to be a quick build. I had a couple of issues with the paint, and they're still showing up. That's on the that's on me. That ain't the it wasn't the material. Um, it's painted with Tester's Extreme Lacquer's fiery orange, if I'm not mistaken. Um, the only body modification, as you can see, is the cow hood that I scratch built. This was the first time I mean, this was the first car I sprayed with the new clear coat I've got, and not the fault of the clear. I did not read it. Well, I read the directions. And had a basically had a brain fart when I mix when I measured drew out my measuring stick. It's supposed to mix four to one. Well, like I said, I had a brain fart, and when it was all said and done with, I had mixed the clear three to one. And it again my fault. Had the air pressure right at first. Well, the clear started kicking as it was going on the car. So it was take two, had to wet sand it, and then I got a little aggressive with the wet sanding, and I hurt them, disturbed the metallic in a couple of spots. Not bad enough for me to strip it and start all over. I just want to get the, get this shelf queen done, get it in case, throw it on the shelf. Hey, from a few feet, it's going to look great. Uh, again, the cow hood is scratch built and molded in. I use uh, this did the hood with evergreens evergreen styrene 40 thousands i like to use 40 thousands because it's a little sturdier uh it is closer to what the body is uh, the thickness of the body uh so on and so forth i've added the did take the kit decals i sanded off the badging and placed the decals in place of it it's still got the six cylinder badge here the Nova badge here. Uh, it's not going to really show up good here. But anyway, it's got a little Chevrolet uh, Chevrolet script here. The Nova script here. That was kind of a guess where to put it. Um, I Googled it and I've looked at pictures after pictures. Really couldn't, couldn't get a d definitive answer. So I was like, eh, good place for it. I put it there. The decals the tires these rear tires are the 2910 5s that amt is putting in many kits they also sell them in a parts pack i've got many many sets of them the firestone and the hoosier decals on the tires are from slicks uh, applied used a little solve set to get them to settle and then a light brushing of tamaya flat clear to seal them in the rear wheels, they started life as a roughly about a 15 inch width uh, drag, uh, well drag light. It came out of a monogram stock, uh, pro stock kit. I cut the wheel, cut the pro stock hoop off and used uh, another, uh, a narrower hoop to make like a 10 inch wheel. The fronts, they're straight out of a pro stock kit. These have been chrome plated by Chrome Tech Bob. Uh, all the bare metal foil work's done. The black washing's done. It's got 
three coats of clear on it and seeing it reflect in this video it looks even worse in the video than it does in person uh, i believe i'll be doing some rubbing on this one kind of smooth the paint out a little bit more um again it's just a simple build i not getting too carried away like i said it's gonna sit on the shelf uh going through the pictures on google it helped me determine where what needed to be, the chrome foil needed to go on and where it didn't need to go on that's the nice thing about having google on my phone uh it's a great resource for research especially when you're looking for just well for lack of better terms odd details um what needs to be where the foil needs to go where the badges need to go where the backup lights are and so on and so forth those of you that's built this kit the tail lights is a chrome bezel with a red uh, transparent red insert for the tail light lens. The backup lights are chrome, so I painted them white to kind of simulate a clear lens. Um, this is my rendition of a what 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 we would call a Saturday night bracket special, kind of a family-owned type car. They take pride in its appearances. You know, it's a stock chassis car, so it's not going to be slammed on the ground. Just nice, decent little ride height. I've got some, basically, they're junk headers as far as they came off of the buildup. I can use the lower section of the header where you'll be able to see it at a certain angle through here under the car. That's about the only details I'm going to do. There's a fuel cell and a battery box that'll go in the back. I've got three quarters of the roll cage done i gotta finish it up paint it probably body color i'm kind of stuck on what i'm gonna do interior color wise i really don't want to do black because then it's going to just swallow anything i put in there um so i'm considering some kind of light colored interior something in like a uh, beige medium to a dark tan uh, something that you would see in a street strip type car, even though this is more of a designated drag car. Uh, but that's it. You know, just like I, like I said, it's just simple. I've enjoyed it. I mean, the paints had me pulling my hair out, but that's, again, if that's back on me. That has nothing to do with materials or nothing. Um, like I said, it's just been a fun little build, and I love this body style. Um, my heart... I have my car, my likes in automobile manufacturers is a list. It's Mopar, Ford, Pontiac, Volkswagen, Chevrolet, and so on and so forth. Um, but with the abundance of Chevrolet models and the abundance of Chevrolet drag cars I've seen in my life, you know, it's quite common to do a, for me to do a Chevrolet drag car. That's just part of it. But that's it for this one, folks. Um, I will do a, another video on the other project that's on my bench. So, remember, live, love, and laugh. Let's enjoy this wonderful hobby together. And remember, build a model for you. Okay, that's all. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.